in this video i am going to give explanation on the service called authentication that is very newly added service in unified diagnostic services before that if you want to access our videos in a sequence this pdf file has been given in the description that is sharepoint has been given in the description you can just give a click and uh, download the pdf file and you can watch uh, you can use this as an index you can watch what are the videos uh, you want so all these um, content name has been given as a sequence if you if you are interested to join in our any of these social media groups you can utilize this let's start with in total how many services in uds the answer is 26 services so this answer is valid up to 2020 until the uni uds uh, iso 14229 uh, one, document has been released but after the 2020 that means after the uh, latest version revised has been released the answer is 27 service that is one service has been added that is called authentication service of the service id 29 see here the definition authentication service that is 29 is for authenticating ecu and grant access to diagnostic service for the certificate content means of identifying yourself to login server instead of trying a password say for example I'll give, I'll give you a simple scenario uh, say I have a username and I have a password so that is my username and my password I am trying to log in with the username as well as password it will be successfully logged in I can share you the password the same if you try definitely you can also able to log in that means there is some loophole in this uh, in this kind of security um, you know the algorithms means the username and password so for that yes of course we should not share our username and password but of the one one percent of the chance of um, leaking of password so to prevent that we are going for the authentication so authentication is the original that's a genuine certificate so for you can you can get another example for example uh, you have your degree certificate so the degree certificate is only valid and applicable if the certificate is with you if someone uses your certificate it will, it will become invalid if you use some other's um, certificate again that also invalid that means the bilateral part has been secured for both the parties that means here in our example i can tell for the certificate as well as for the user similarly here uh, apart from the say, password and username if if the people are going for the uh, authentication that is certificate that will be really helpful for uh, make the security still stronger so this is the concept of the authentication okay fine so what in what are all the ways and what are the points this authentication has been useful see um here you have to understand one concept called pk that is a public key infra infrastructure so the here uh, of course here we have discussed about the username password but what exactly the username what exactly the password that we know uh, if you are going for a gmail or if you are facebook or anything you can have your username and password but certificate means it's a general term knowledge right even if you have your um, uh, degree it's a certificate if you had some courses that are also certificate again if you go for your uh, car you have a number of certificates that is uh, your pollution certificate or pollution control certificate your um, you know the insurance is also a kind of a certificate then your uh, the the vehicle owners detail that also a certificate so these are all the genuine certificate so that's what here they meant what is certificate so what the content in the certificate here before knowing the content you have to know the public key infrastructure so these in public key infrastructure is a one uh, which it is acts like a cryptographic method for uh, securing your data that is your car's data so what this exactly is this contains rules policies hardware and software that needs to create manage distribute use store and revoke the digital certificates even nowadays we have a number of government application if you are in indian you have the uh, government indian application in that you can store all your uh, you know uh, uh, your driving license your uh, rc books uh, or your aadhar card pan card all your complete author's id everything can be stored in some digi locker or something so it's a digital certificate like that this pk that is a public key infrastructure has uh, has been managed the public key encryption with contains the necessary certificates for the 
cars say uh, it's not only for the cars it's for the ecus as well so for your generic understanding i can tell like the cars documents now we we almost uh, before five years that is uh, if you are uh, if you are in a 2015 uh, mostly you would use the paper uh, for uh, showing your document but nowadays it's been uh, digital that is a smart cards maybe in future it is completely as a encrypted thing so even though if you are uh, showing your uh, documents to the cops they can now now what now, as per the current scenario if someone ask you for the proof you have to show the entire thing right that's actually that's that's people may misuse the thing they can replicate your copy uh, that also may be possible but uh, in these kind of uh, pk that is the encrypting thing you can sh you can show only what they exactly want the genuine things you can you don't want to show so these these are all the thing comes under the pk that is public key infrastructure uh, in the diagnostics what exactly the purpose is um, it is uh, if you go with the sub functions you can bit understand it will, it will be very helpful and you can easily understand but uh, now if you directly enter into the sub function part you will completely uh, not knowing about the public key infrastructure so for this uh, I, i'll give you another example say for um, if there is a uh, diagnostic engineer uh, say two engineers are working um, say engineer x and engineer y uh one day your car has been diagno uh, diagnosing and the engineer a has been working he use uh, username and password even the next day uh, the particular uh, another diagnoser why is working he also giving the username and password after 2 3 years you want to know who has been worked on that day because there may be some malfunctions is still open so you you cannot able to identify that because uh, both has given the username and password that to they may not use their username and password they may use their administrator username and password as it is a, a kind of a organization or if they use their own username password also they they can able to because as the colleagues they may have there is a one again one person of probability of leaking their username and password it happens but if you are going with the kind of certificate so they have to give their um, for accessing they have to give their uh, cards and they have to use their a uh, biometric right so you it's very hard to get another biometric or a retina scan so those are all the things will be in the certificate content so this is as a diagnosis point or diagnostic engineer point of view if you are again go for a car in the car in the car you, you may uh, for example uh, nowadays it's a, so there is a lot of contents in this particular so i cannot able to take one and one so in this i just wanted to uh, pick and i want to make you understand what exactly this service will do the final example i am going to give is uh, nowadays is everything is a iot right so even the diagnostics also remote the remote diagnostics so you are in some uh, some rem uh, some uh, out of station or you are in some city uh, but you you can't able to go into the service station what what the mm, diagnostic engineers or the what the uh, service guys they can do is they can just uh, do update your firmware from their remote place from their garage so that also possible but how how far we can trust the software is not corrupted so how can we trust the software is genuine right so again for that also this pka plays a role so like this see, now we have discussed more like username logging diagnostics engineer again the firmware update again the ecu critical data like the uh, insurance or uh, insurance number or the chassis number part numbers uh, software baselines what software is being used because even if someone can able to access the access your software they can definitely use their own of your own software into their local cars also that also can happen right so 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 many uh, things are there for this encryption but in this video you have to understand just why the certificate content is this is for the storing instead of username and password so that's all about this particular uh, content is see the purpose of K K pk is to facilitate the secure electronic transfer of information so it's a secure electronic transfer for the range of network activities to access the confidential data information stored in the server definitely it will be confidential if it is a non confidential if it is your name you can directly tell them there is no need of hiding or no need of crypto uh, crypting your uh, particular name right of course if, you, if it is your uh, 
other data like your uh, policy insurance policy number or your if you're coming to the car if it is a chassis number you have to be uh, not quite um, confidential you have to maintain the confidentiality so the significant feature of the pk is where the simple passwords are an inadequate for the authentication but more sufficient proof is required to confirm the identity of the parties so this is all about i have discussed of course the story may went big but uh, so you have to understand of course the con con concept is very uh, small until you understand uh, all right so this is all about the new service 29 and in the next video we'll have the sub function or what are the sub function what sub function is for what with a request and response everything will be discussed in the upcoming video if you really like this video and if you um, you know if you want to learn this again this service please hit a like and uh, we'll get back to you in the next video very soon until then bye take care